Morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, June 1st, 2011. Happy June. Unhappy Daniel is unhappy because he is tired. For, for the record, I'm also terribly hot, hence the fan being open and probably the ambient noise in the background of this video from my window. I live next to a hospital. There's a lot of cars that go down that road. Also, and I think this is obligatory because I, did it la I didn't do it last week, but I'm not just hot right now. I'm always hot. Oh yeah, look at the Vendy Awards thing in the background. Yeah, there you go. Today I went back to my um, to my high school in the ladder, found the Naris High School. Here's my um, here's one of my IDs. We all had Queens College IDs. Here's my here's my picture. Yeah. Those were not good hair days back then. Now my main reason for being there was to pick up a um an AP US history review book that I had loaned out to a junior and along with that just to talk to and, and enjoy the presence of some of the people I worked alongside, some of my um, some of my teachers, some of my fellow students who have not yet graduated. It was it was really great all around, largely for the reason that there was so much of an outpour of positive support for me, and it was really it was really nice to see that. Just, you know, there are people there are people looking out for you. Now, when we say um. When we were little, I, 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 I'm under the assumption I really haven't grown up, hence the little Iron Man I got at Comic-Con, and this and Baby Sinclair from Dinosaurs, and this Ear of Corn from, I think it's from like a car show, or Wired Next Fest, or something. But I, I don't think I really have grown up <laughs> compared to other people. I certainly take pleasure in, um, in youthful youthful things. Um, what people may think of as childish and or immature, I happen to enjoy because that's what I enjoyed when I was a child and I still enjoy it now, either out of the fact that it's nostalgic or the fact that it's actually good. I think there's an interesting fine line between those two things, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. The memories, more and more, they, they start fading away over time as we make new ones when we're older. This weekend, when I was back home, I was, my mom told me a story of how in elementary school, there was a boys club and a girls club, and children liked each other. And I got angry about it. Apparently, I got sad about it, and I, and I said that there should be a friend. There should be a friendship club, which is very diplomatic, and I'm proud of myself for doing that. But I don't remember doing that at all. It's interesting to see how quickly stories um, and memories that you have as a child go away, and and or really are replaced by new ones. Frankly, for me, I would much rather maintain what I've done these last six or seven years, really the last four or five years, because middle school just sucked for me. I was a, I was a nerdy kid. I'd much rather remember the last four or five years than what I did as a child outside of the things that I consumed. So, I'll see you all next week, and Robin, I'll see you tomorrow.